In differential geometry, the tangent bundle of a differentiable manifold is a manifold which assembles all the tangent vectors in. As a set, it is given by the disjoint union of the tangent spaces of M, that is, where denotes the tangent space to at the point. So, an element of can be thought of as a pair, where is a point in and is a tangent vector to it. There is a natural projection defined by this projection maps each tangent space to the single point. The tangent bundle comes equipped with a natural topology. With this topology, the tangent bundle to a manifold is the prototypical example of a vector bundle. A section of is a vector field on, and the dual bundle to is the cotangent bundle, which is the disjoint union of the cotangent spaces of. By definition, a manifold is parallelizable if and only if the tangent bundle is trivial. By definition, a manifold M is framed if and only if the tangent bundle trademark is stably trivial, meaning that for some trivial bundle E the Whitney sum trademark E is trivial. For example, the n-dimensional sphere Sn is framed for all n, but parallelizable only for n equals 1, 3, 7. Role. One of the main roles of the tangent bundle is to provide a domain and range for the derivative of a smooth function. Namely, if f, m n is a smooth function, with m and n smooth manifolds, its derivative is a smooth function df, trademark tn, topology and smooth structure. The tangent bundle comes equipped with a natural topology and smooth structure so as to make it into a manifold in its own right. The dimension of trademark is twice the dimension of M. Each tangent space of an n-dimensional manifold is an n-dimensional vector space. If U is an open contractible subset of M, then there is a diffeomorphism from 2 to U times Rn which restricts to a linear isomorphism from each tangent space Tx U2 X times Rn. As a manifold, however, trademark is not always diffeomorphic to the product manifold M times Rn. When it is of the form M times Rn, then the tangent bundle is said to be trivial. Trivial tangent bundles usually occur for manifolds equipped with a compatible group structure, for instance, in the case where the manifold is a Lie group. The tangent bundle of the unit circle is trivial because it is a Lie group. It is not true however that all spaces with trivial tangent bundles are Lie groups. Manifolds which have a trivial tangent bundle are called parallelizable. Just as manifolds are locally modeled on Euclidean space, tangent bundles are locally modeled on U times Rn, where U is an open subset of Euclidean space. If M is a smooth n-dimensional manifold, then it comes equipped with an atlas of charts where U alpha is an open set in M and is a diffeomorphism. These local coordinates on U give rise to an isomorphism between Tx M and Rn for each x U. We may then define a map by we use these maps to define the topology and smooth structure on trademark. A subset A of trademark is open if and only if is open in R2N for each alpha. These maps are then homeomorphisms between open subsets of trademark and R2N and therefore serve as charts for the smooth structure on trademark. The transmission functions on chart overlaps or induced by the Jacobian matrices of the associated coordinate transformation and are therefore smooth maps between open subsets of R2N. The tangent bundle is an example of a more general construction called a vector bundle. Explicitly, the tangent bundle to an n-dimensional manifold M may be defined as a rank n-vector bundle over M whose transition functions are given by the Jacobian of the associated coordinate transformations. Examples The simplest example is that of Rn. In this case the tangent bundle is trivial. Another simple example is the unit circle S1. The tangent bundle of the circle is also trivial and isomorphic to S1 times R. Geometrically, this is a cylinder of infinite height. 
The only tangent bundles that can be readily visualized are those of the real line R and the unit circle S1, both of which are trivial. For two-dimensional manifolds the tangent bundle is four-dimensional and hence difficult to visualize. A simple example of a non-trivial tangent bundle is that of the unit sphere S2. This tangent bundle is non-trivial as a consequence of the hairy ball theorem. Therefore, the sphere is not parallelizable. Vector fields. A smooth assignment of a tangent vector to each point of a manifold is called a vector field. Specifically, a vector field on a manifold M is a smooth map such that the image of X, denoted Vx, lies in Tx M, the tangent space at X. In the language of fiber bundles, such a map is called a section. A vector field on M is therefore a section of the tangent bundle of M. The set of all vector fields on M is denoted by gamma. Vector fields can be added together pointwise and multiplied by smooth functions on M to get other vector fields. The set of all vector fields gamma then takes on the structure of the module over the commutative algebra of smooth functions on M, denoted C infinity. A local vector field on M is a local section of the tangent bundle. That is, a local vector field is defined only on some open set U in M and assigns to each point of U a vector in the associated tangent space. The set of local vector fields on M forms a structure known as a sheaf of real vector spaces on M. Higher order tangent bundles. Since the tangent bundle trademark is itself a smooth manifold, the second order tangent bundle can be defined via a repeated application of the tangent bundle construction. In general, the KTH order tangent bundle can be defined recursively as a smooth map F. Mn has an induced derivative for which the tangent bundle is the appropriate domain and range df, trademark tn. Similarly, higher order tangent bundles provide the domain and range for higher order derivatives. A distinct but related construction are the jet bundles on a manifold, which are bundles consisting of jets. Canonical vector field on tangent bundle. On every tangent bundle trademark, considered as a manifold itself, one can define a canonical vector field V, trademark TTM as the diagonal map on the tangent space at each point. This is possible because the tangent space of a vector space W is naturally a product, since the vector space itself is flat and thus has a natural diagonal map given by under this product structure. Applying this product structure to the tangent space at each point and globalizing yields the canonical vector field. Informally, although the manifold M is curved, each tangent space at a point M is flat. So the tangent bundle manifold trademark is locally a product of O curved M and a flat thus the tangent bundle of the tangent bundle is locally and the map is the projection onto the first coordinates. Splitting the first map via the zero section and the second map by the diagonal yields the canonical vector field. If a local coordinates for trademark, the vector field has the expression more concisely. The first pair of coordinates do not change because it is the section of a bundle and these are just the point in the base space. The last pair of coordinates are the section itself. Note that this expression for the vector field depends only on V, not on X, as only the tangent directions can be naturally identified. Alternatively, consider the scalar multiplication function. The derivative of this function with respect to the variable R at time t equals 1 is a function V, trademark TTM, which is an alternative description of the canonical vector field. The existence of such a vector field on trademark is analogous to the canonical unform on the cotangent bundle. Sometimes V is also called the Liouville vector field or radial vector field. Using V1 can characterize the tangent bundle. Essentially, V can be characterized using four axioms, and if a manifold has a vector field satisfying these axioms, then the manifold is a tangent bundle and the vector field is the canonical vector field on it. See for example, De Leon al. lifts. There are various ways to lift objects on M into objects on trademark. 
For example, if C is a curve in M, then C is a curve in trademark. In contrast, without further assumptions on M, there is no similar lift into the cotangent bundle. The vertical lift of a function f. M I A is the function f v. Trademark are defined by where pi. Trademark M is the canonical projection.